Hey everyone, if you have a Behringer XR18 and you've been wondering how to connect it to Logic in order to do multi-track recording and playback, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's go. All right, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have the Xair software, the Xair Edit app software installed. If you don't already have it, you can go to Behringer.com go to downloads, and then under the product group, you choose mixers, then digital stage box mixers, then XR18 software and Mac, and then download the latest version. Once you have it downloaded, install it and open it up. Our next step is to set our inputs and outputs on the XR Edit software to make sure it's communicating with our Mac properly. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. The slow way is to choose each individual channel click on the channel tab, and then turn on the USB function. The quick way to do that is to go over to your in and out button and click on the USB returns. Now, if I click on the analog off, you'll see that my USB highlight has turned off on the channel. That means we are now using the analog inputs on the front of the mixer, and that's all we're using them for, just analog in and out. If you click on 1 to 16, then you're turning on the USB function for all your channels. It makes 1 to 16 mono channels, and then 17, 18 come back as a stereo pair on your auxiliary in channel right here. Once you've done that, your Xair is good to go, and the next thing to do is look at our Mac. All right, the first thing we want to do inside our Mac is make sure that we're seeing our XR18. So let's open Audio MIDI Setup. Uh, I opened it with a shortcut, but you can also find it by looking for this icon and make sure that your XR18 is showing up in the devices. That means you're connected properly with your cable. I always right click and choose use this device for sound input and then choose for sound output as well. I do this regardless of what I'm doing because then I can use it day to day to send information in and out of my computer. Once that's selected, you can close this window and then we're gonna open Logic. So when Logic opens, it asks you what kind of project you want. But before we do this, if this is your first time trying to set up your XR, you're gonna come up to Logic Pro, go into settings, and go into the audio tab. Here you wanna make sure that core audio is enabled and make sure your output and your input device are set to your XR18. Once you've done that, you can hit apply and then close the window. Now we're gonna choose our project. I'm going to choose an empty project to show you what comes up. It gives us this selection of what kind of tracks we want to create. So in this case, I'm going to choose audio, set it to mic or line. Now under the details, we have our audio input and our audio output. Make sure both of these are showing XR18 as the device. And then for input, I'm going to choose my first channel as one. And then I'm going to click the ascending button. And then over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to my output and I'm gonna go down to mono and choose number one and click ascending. What the ascending button means is that each track you create will go up by one channel as you create more channels. So the first channel will be one, then of course two, and then all the way to 18. Your inputs and outputs will be set to those numbers automatically. Down here on number of tracks to create, we can put in as many as we want. I'm gonna put 18 and hit enter, that will create. And you can see we've got one through 18, if we look at our other channel, we can see that it has routed our inputs and our outputs in single digit increments. Input one all the way through 18, output one all the way through 18. If you needed to change one of your outputs or inputs, this is where you would do it. Or you can even merge multiple tracks into the same input or output if you really need to. For instance, um, let's say I want channel eight here, but I also want this instrument to use channel eight. I can go to output, mono, and set that to channel eight as well. And I'm gonna open a session I already have so you can see that I've done exactly that. So here's my session, and I'll pull this window over just so we can have a better look. But you can see all my inputs are set one through 18, but my outputs are set differently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 10, 10, 10, 11, 11, 11, 11. I have multiple instruments grouped together on one output so that when I bring them back to my mixer, I have one fader for multiple instruments. 
This is what you can do if you have more instruments, more channels than are actually available to you on your mixer. With your inputs and outputs set, if you already have information inside of Logic, so you can see I've already got tracks here, I should be able to hit play right now and we should hear it through the mixer and see the information in our mixer as well. So let's do that. There it is. You can see it's playing back in Logic. We have information in the window down here. And if we look over at our X Air mixer, you can see it's coming back here on the mixer and then going out our left, right to my two speakers that I have in the room. And if I start muting stuff over here, you'll see it disappear from the XR mixer. Turn that back on. Great, so that's step number one. We know we have information coming back from our software going to our mixer. Now, how about if we want to get information from a microphone or an instrument from our mixer into Logic? Well, that's pretty simple. Let's find an empty space here in our window. I'm going to use track one, which we know is set to use input number one. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to turn on record enable. I'm going to pull over my microphone. Now, we can see down in the bottom left of the window, we have information coming in. I'll look at the other window as well. Channel one is showing audio signal coming in, but we can't hear it. The reason we can't hear it is because we do not have our track monitoring turned on. If I click on this eye icon either here or up here, it will make this audible inside of our software. So that's what you need to do if you want to hear yourself while you're playing back other information. With our channel record enabled and a set at a blank position in the track, I'm going to hit record and check one, two, check, check, one, two. I'm talking into this microphone. Let's see if it plays back. Now, you didn't hear me because I had monitoring turned off. Let's actually do that again with monitoring on. Check one, two, check one, two. I'm testing the microphone again. We're gonna play back both of these snippets. So there, we've got two things recorded, one without monitoring and one with monitoring. Let's see if they both play back. Check one, two, check, check one, two. I'm talking into this microphone. Let's see if it plays back. Check one, two, I'm testing the microphone again. We're gonna play back both of these snippets. So you could see they were playing no problem. The monitoring is only if you need to hear yourself while you're doing it. And I'll play them again just so you can see. I'll point it out that it is coming back to our channel one in our mixer software. Microphone, let's see if it plays. So there it is coming back to our XR mixer. Two, I'm testing the microphone again. We're gonna play back both of these snippets. So there you go. We've sent information from our mixer to the software and we've had information coming from the software back to the mixer. So that's how you set up your XR mixer to work for multi-track recording and playback with Apple's Logic. I hope this was interesting, entertaining, educational. If it was any of those three things, please like, share, and subscribe. You can check us out on Patreon, or you can do a super thanks down below, or even join the channel down below. Any of those things help the channel grow. Until we see you next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies. Bye.